The math department is really unique in that our faculty um, and our grad students and our postdocs are really involved. Um, what I love most about the math department is that they um, want to help undergrads succeed. They want to um, push their boundaries and um, explore new ways of thinking, new ways of um, research. Um, it's really incredible how this department um, really supports the undergraduate mission. One strength and benefit of doing mathematics is that it's actually not so important that you know all the details of the mathematics. It's more about learning um, to think critically, to like develop methods of how to solve problems. I know I want to work with people for sure. So I've considered maybe going into teaching, maybe secondary education. I've also considered maybe like going into consulting because um, that's also a job where you get to work with people and share your advice on um, what you think they should do in terms of, like of making best decisions. Um, I've also considered like going into like actuarial work um, because I feel like I'm really interested in economics and statistics. So yeah, those are some of um, the ideas that I have. What happens in math, especially at abstract math. You learn how to think logically. You learn how to argue, um, which is of course the mainstay of any sort of law. You have to argue your point. Um, and you have to be methodical and logical and, and really know how to pull apart a problem and then put it back together uh, in a concrete fashion. So a lot of my students actually took jobs in, um, in companies like YouTube, Google, Amazon. Uh, so they have like programming jobs that they do. Um, you could uh, you could become like a climate scientist, you know, like analyze data. A lot of people start analyzing data. You can do that in science or you could do that also in the financial sector because there are, there's a lot of demand for people who can analyze data. There are a lot of careers I feel like math majors can go into. We have four different types of majors here at the department but um, they're kind of just oriented towards different things. So for example, applied math majors usually apply their math <laughs> towards some other field like computer science, statistics, economics, or um, like anything that has to do with math. So um, that's one of the things that they can do. Um, our scientific computation major usually goes into like biology or like computation like computer science. Um, our analytics major goes into like economics and then like our pure math major, usually those people go into like teaching, um, but there's usually jobs in like industry, technology, social media, and people find all sorts of jobs. Even if they're not necessarily related to math, they can use the skills that they've learned as a math major to apply to other things. I had an undergraduate student who went to work for the NFL because they wanted to create an algorithm that matched um, what is the best defense for this particular offense? And let's say this running back is, you know, pulled because they have an injury. So they can run a new manipulation and know what kind of defense to put in. If you do mathematics, you spend a lot of time with it. So it's a good idea to do something that you really like. Engage with people because it's not so fun to just sit in your own room and, you know, get stuck. But if you talk about math with other people, it's a great way to to engage and learn things and you know impact other people i chose chemistry because i always knew i wanted to help people with their health i just knew that being a medical doctor was not for me so after realizing that i really enjoyed chemistry in high school I did a bit of research on my own into different fields of chemistry and I found that pharmaceutical chemistry was a way for me to help people by developing medicines that they could take to improve their health. So that's ultimately what made me make my decision. Forensic chemistry is kind of the perfect mix of kind of the legal and law system and science but mostly chemistry based. Chemistry is known as the central science. It is a an area of science that touches uh, just about everything else. It is considered one of the building blocks within the sciences. So if they're looking to go into biochemistry, bioinformatics, um, uh, laser technology, uh, health, you know, professional health, chemistry has a place in that uh, environment and everything and helping prepare these students. My laboratory works in, uh, does organic chemistry and that provides career opportunities uh, in many areas including, including uh, drug discovery in the pharmaceutical industry, uh, other areas of biotechnology, uh, etc. We also offer um, 
undergrad research in all of our laboratories. And um, we're also very well connected um, with uh, local companies. And so I get uh, contacted all the time. Do I know of any undergrads that want to get started in a career in chemistry or do a summer internship? And so we can often uh, get those resources out to our students. A lot of our students who major in pure chemistry, the Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, they have a lot of flexibility to do a double major. Uh, the same can be said for those that are pursuing the AB degree because our uh, Bachelor of Arts degree is very flexible to allow students to do a double major, uh, whether it's in another STEM science or a non-STEM science. Definitely check out being a chemistry major. Uh, it's a wonderful time to uh, have chemistry skills. Um, our graduates are uh, employed across a wide variety of fields uh, and it's an incredibly interdisciplinary science. It is everything from uh, cell biology to um, materials, polymers, inorganic uh, processes that underpin how uh, new batteries might work, solar energy conversion, and everything in between. And so I would just say check it out. There's a real wide variety of things happening in chemistry and it's um, a great uh, major to pursue. The uh, Caltech Mass program here at UC Davis, um, I believe, is unique in that we offer courses that are designed to introduce students in any STEM major to the possibility of going into K-12 STEM teaching. Our program is not a major. Our program is an impact program, basically. So all students who come into our program, they already have usually an idea that they want to become teachers. And so what we do is really help students to fulfill that dream of becoming a teacher. I found Caltech Maths to be a good fit. Um, I wanted to be that educator as well to other students who are like me. I'm a first generation student. I didn't have any you know, college educated people in my family. So um, Caltech Maths is just another way to give back. So our students can go into K through 12 classes, classrooms, public classrooms. They work with students uh, directly. So they really help students learn um, how to do math and science, how to improve in math and science. So they have actually a direct impact to the community here around. And we work with uh, Sacramento, Dixon, Woodland, uh, Natomas. I um, interned at Vacaville High School as a chemistry teacher and I was also a uh, intern chemistry teacher at um, Harper Jepson I Junior High School. Sorry, that's here in Davis. And I had the most amazing time. Um, at the beginning, I was a bit afraid that the students wouldn't accept me, but going, I mean, now, like thinking back on my experiences, I had such a wonderful time getting to know these kids. Um, they had, they're full of personality, full of energy, very lively, um, pretty silly at times, but I think that's what makes the job really fun. And uh, we also offer some uh, financial support for some of the tests that are required to, uh, for students to take in order to apply for credential programs, teaching credential programs. So we offer some support for that. We also try our best um, to offer various types of support, financial support, small amounts for students who um, need to uh, travel to their internships. We definitely pay for travel for them. Um, and pretty much any sort of small amounts that they might need. Finding a community of people who also want to be educators and also want to uplift the next generations, I think is so valuable and something that I was, I didn't know that I needed in my first year, but I realize now in retrospect, that's something that I'm so thankful for. <laughs>
We have mentorship programs where you can be paired with other students or graduate students in order to learn about campus and learn about um, different paths you can take in your career. I also involve a lot of undergraduates in my research program. So they either start by helping out in the lab, doing lab tasks, helping my graduate students, um, and then some of them choose to stay on and do a senior thesis project, and that's a lot of fun because they get to experience uh, doing a little research project on their own and that excitement of not knowing where you're going and what the data are going to say and finding out what it's all about. Geology majors can do a ton of different th things with their degree. They can go out into working for government, private companies, policy and law, education and outreach, lots of different ways to impact the world. Geology majors around here tend to start by doing things like internships in Sacramento with a lot of government agencies or getting connected with our current students, our alumni, and our faculty to make a really widespread network that will help you go find your career. Impacting them has been helping them, mentor them to a career, um, helping them become the scientists that I know that they can be through this process. Mm -hmm.